So, hi guys, it's uh, Bob from Greybeard Models again. Good morning. Hope everybody's well out there. All the weather's good. Um, just like to carry on with with the the nose arc kit. There's a lump there. Don't know what that is. And I'm going to sneeze. Uh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right. Um, so the cockpit floor, going back to where we were, um, the cockpit floor actually sticks to, sticks, glues to the um, roof of the bomb bay. The cockpit floor actually is fitted to the bomb bay roof. So if you had, you, you know, if you had the, your bombs, they would be there. Um, in this particular kit, and because it's, it's just the nose, you don't have it. Now I haven't fitted this in permanently for the moment because I looked into the roof of the bomb bay, and there's ejector pin marks, ejector pin marks, ejector pin marks all the way around here. Um, and they're raised which is great great news so before these all get this all gets stuck together um, gonna need to try and remove as many of those as possible uh, to try and tidy it up and uh, make it look okay um, the other the other thing that I've noticed with this this particular part is these these circular points here there's nothing in the kit th for those holes and it makes me think that they're actually for um, as these are parts of the larger 132nd um, aircraft the whole aircraft these are probably fixing points for the um, for the bomb, bomb racks and bomb, bomb uh, fixings whatever so I may have to remove those because they wouldn't be there if there's no bombs in the bomb bay then there's nothing there or in fact if there is there would, would be locating bracketry for the bombs um, so I'm going to have to decide what to do with that I don't want them because they don't need to be there um, the same um, for here I need to look up all these ejector pin marks here there there, there. there's some raised some sunk I must admit if I was sorry I'll get this into shot there's some raised ones there and there's some sunken ones they're not ejector pin marks there's some error marking within the Bombay um, but again these these fixing points here aren't part of it so I need to make sure that that all gets tidied up so that's that's that part there so let's just go on to the next part so at the rear of the cockpit floor and at this at this point here there is this panel fits into two slots there's a slot there and a slot there and that fits that fits on there like that and that's got molded on detail now these are supposed to be hoses coming down here and looking at the the side of it um, something to point with looking at the side of it here you can see it, it's actually a straight mould onto onto that part there and same there um, these are uh, connectors at the top of these these bowls and there would be a space behind them and the same with these this hose um, the hose wouldn't go through through that panel and that panel um, so this, this should actually be a hose so what I'm going to have to do well, 
don't have to do it, but obviously what I want to do, same with this, this hose here, um, what I need to do is either try and back cut these, which can be done, um, basically run behind it with, with a scalpel or a craft knife and try and give it more of a more of a shape um, rather than having having just the mould, the solid mould lines. So what I should do originally to try and do it is to go round behind oh gone out of shotgun sorry is, is go behind these and try and undercut that with with the scalpel or craft knife. Same with there that that's that's supposed to be a a cable or, or um, a hose of some description and also these parts here these aren't molded straight onto a panel so these will have to be cut back I'm not sure about that but certainly um, that's a that's a part there that's a hose so I'm gonna have to go into these and try and make that more like a hose so I'm just gonna make a start on that and uh, I'll come back to you okay so um, yeah I had to deal with ejection pin marks and um, a couple of sunk, a sunk one there uh, that one filled with a piece of plastic card punched out with a leather punch um, just to, to clear that out these two holes here these fixing points here don't know what they were um, so filled those with a uh, bit of uh, plastic sprue stretch sprue uh, filled the holes up glued those down and the same with with these other fixing holes here I couldn't uh, it's very difficult to remove the corner ones um, very very hard to get those out so I might have to come back and revisit that but um, managed to carve out all of the raised ejection pin marks in between the, the grid um, I used this uh, little chisel don't know if that will stay in focus it's a little chiseling tool got a set of, of four of these got them off eBay for I don't know, I think they were about five or something, five pound. They, they weren't very expensive, but they're great for literally for getting into these things. And also, you, you know, just handy for a, as a tool anyway, for a, uh, having a chisel. Anyway, chiseled all the all of those marks out, then gave it a coat of uh, the Mr. Hobby, or Mr. Surfacer 1000. Uh, it's, a, it's a fairly runny one, the 1000. And... Uh, literally just painted it in there and and left it, it it will level itself out um, so it's actually covered up quite a lot of the, the the sort of imperfections in the surface so what I'll do is I'll give this a uh, a coat of black primer and uh, we'll go from there I, I think the black primer I think that the uh, if, if my memory serves me, I, I'll have to have a look. Um, but the the roof of, of the Bombay was actually, I think, black. But I'll double check that. I'll give it a coat of black primer anyway, and then come back and, and decide what colour it needs to be. There are or is trunking along here with bits of you can see parts of the cable in it and the cable details up this end. And there's some cable details running along through there and through that one and through this one there's all cables running through it's a shame really that they've done it because um, could have made more of this and, and run your own cables through it I don't really think that it, it'll be practical to replace all of this with cables and given that it's the underside and it won't be seen mm, I don't know but uh, yeah it's uh, tidied a lot of that up it's looking a lot better than it was like I say I'll give it a, a coat of primer 
that should chart up any other imperfections and I'll come back at it but uh, that's where we are with the with the base or the roof of the Bombay so I'll come back to you in a second with a bit more progress so before we go much further um, had a look at this particular piece that sits on the back here Oop, there no right okay so it sits there and I had mentioned before that I was going to under, undercut these hoses and stuff to try and improve the quality. Um, I did look at potentially cutting off all of this cabling and stuff, but I think that would be too much work. So, what I've decided to do, and I've started to do, scratch build the whole thing because uh, well I'll, I'll say the whole thing um, I'll salvage that um, it's a hydraulic um, accumulator and uh, to do, deal with the hydraulics I think on the um, aircraft controls um, so what I'll do is as I say scratch build that so this is as far as I've got um, just fabricating the panel and the step here and the two tanks there with the brackets holding them on and those look far better than the ones that are on the on the kit in my opinion and uh, there's more depth to them more more whereas these they look they don't look right i mean they're, they're, yeah they just don't look right um so anyway that's what i've been up to for the moment and uh i'll get back to you in a second when i've done a bit more cheers so back at the from the spray booth this is the the stand that the whole kit um, or the model sits on um, you may recall there was a there was a pin that was broken which is that one there um, which I managed to repair and uh, I've given it a coat of, of black primer um, I've got a piece of stretch proof fitted in there just to hold it um, I've given it a, I'm going to give it a coat of probably dull aluminium and then I've got to decide what sort of top coat um, it's going to have. Um, I'll put a dull aluminium on it, and then I'll do some um, some chipping on it, just so that it looks like it's built. You know, it's worn. It's been work, wheeled around the workshop, that sort of thing. Um, and I've got all the wheels and the, the other legs primed as well, so I've got to give those a coat. Now the other thing that uh, I looked at just now in the video um, was the floor um, of the of the Bombay this is um, or oh, sorry the roof of the Bombay so this is the end of the the part where of the cockpit and that that'll get a, a top coat shortly and this is the roof of the Bombay um, and where I'd um, finished off everything with some Mr. Mr. Surfacer, um, it's done away with a lot of the sink marks and and all the rest of it. So it's quite it's tidy. It's tidier than it was looking in in bare plastic. Um, so what I'll do with this is I'm going to give this um, again um, a coat of dull aluminium and then another coat of black because it was black and then do some chipping so that so that all of this sort of shows shows areas of wear and that sort of thing in the, in the roof of the of the bombay and then i've got to pick out all these cable details and there's there's actually along some of these runs there's i don't know if the camera will pick it up now it's in black and in some of those runs there's uh, an indication of cables they weren't in fact cables these are the um, parts of the control linkages from the 
pilot's controls through to the moving parts of the of the aircraft like the uh, in, a, in actual fact that's the front but this is this is where um, the pilot would have been sat um, if I get the get a, the cockpit and show you <coughs> so that the cockpit is there so this is where the, the pilot was sat and then spin this over um, get everything lined up but that that would have been the area where all the controls fed through from above um, to allow the the pilot to obviously fly the aircraft um, and some of these linkages are actually the controls to you know part, parts of the aircraft so I don't know I'll prob probably have a go at highlighting them a bit of dry brushing or something like that just to try and bring them out and, and show them but generally I think the finish has come out quite good um, and then this will at some point we'll stick it together once we've done this it's actually this section here is um, where the, the the strut that holds the wings of the, of the, of the leading strut um, holding the wings on would go in is inside this this sort of area and the crew would have to climb over this to get to the rear of the plane um, I've also looked at some photographs of, of this um, this is actually a boxed in seat so it's, it's fairly accurate but this is a this is like a padding um, and this look it doesn't look like a padding it, look, it looks very rigid to me so we might do some changes there this is also a padding along here um, <coughs> it should this should be um, some sort of it should have more of an indication of it being a padded material I think <coughs> I think it was actually held in place with poppers you know the sort of push pop of things um, but I have, have to have another look at some of the reference photographs that I've got um, I've also looked at what these are these these are part of the, the radio equipment and I'm not sure if um, on this vintage of aircraft this 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 particular mark 3 um, whether or not that's accurate so I've got to look at the references there because they, they could well be wrong which would be great because you could take those carve those out and build something else but yeah it's all it's coming along quite nicely um so thanks for watching um i'm going to go off now and have a cup of tea um and uh, come back to you hopefully in a few days once i've done a bit more of the the scratch building of the, the back of the cockpit area here or back of the radio operator stuff and um a bit more progress on the cockpit so thanks for watching take care out there stay safe and uh and i hope everything goes well for everyone so take care bye for now